everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today it's gonna be a fun video. I thought I would do a challenge where I read like an Ivy student. I think it'll be interesting, and so far, based off the books I have researched, they have like a lot of political side of things. So, but the books that I chose, they're not, so they're in between. But, um, yeah, so I thought I would show you. Um, so I am The Limitarian Lim by Thomas Hobbes, Persuasion by Jane Austen, and The Republic by Plato. So, I think it'll be interesting to be like, like an Ivy student, so these books stood out to me. I think it'll be fun, so I don't know if I'm going to get through all of them, but uh, it'll be interesting, so let's get to it. Lefthian by Thomas Hobbes. All I have to say is and then again I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's just so weird, like I don't know, then it's kind of difficult to also understand like because he has old English and then modern English mixed between and it's like just stick to one, don't make it so confusing and like what do you mean imagination is a decaying of sense? Since when is imagination a bad thing? Like, come on, it's actually a good thing that you can imagine things. So, and apparently that Sovereign can have like no laws, and that he can only make the rules so he can follow whatever, in that sense. So, I don't think I'm gonna continue reading this book, so just because I just can't. I don't know, I, I just can't read it, it's like really almost all over the place, so honestly, who hurt him, I don't know, but the one thing that he is right is that we do have to work like animals, that's the only thing I can agree with him, and to fight for survival and all that, so the hogs, I don't know what to say, but no, <laughs> so I'm gonna continue to read my other ones, um, hopefully it will be better than this guy. I don't know how to rate this one. I will probably won't rate it, just because it just... I don't know. I... I just don't feel right about this book. It's screaming liberal, so... And also, it's really heavily Christian, because there's all like gods and devil that he keeps saying in the book, so... Yeah, so I know. I don't know how to read this book, so I'm just going to DNF it and leave it at that, and I will continue reading my other one.
leading persuasion. It's actually quite a lot of reading I've done, so I may finish the book right now, today. And a lot of annotating, so... Obviously the main theme is persuasion. Everyone's being persuaded by something. It's a mess, but in a good way. But, um... I really like Jane Austen, so I really like the book. I like the characters, settings, descriptions. I, it is a little bit slow at the beginning, but it did start to pick up. But it was like, oh, you're gonna marry this, you're gonna marry him, and da -da -da. it's funny. But um, I really like it so far, so yeah, I, I really like Jane Austen, so I really like the book. Um, after this one, I will probably gonna read The Republic by Plato, and that'll be it for this vlog, so exciting stuff, and um, yeah, Leviathan is just a hot mess, I'm not reading that again, <laughs> so let's keep on reading. <laughs> I came to four stars because of that, but I like the whole story, so I like the whole second chance romance. I'm not a romance reader, but I really like this book, so that was really nice. But yeah, so I am on to reading The Republic by Plato, but I think I'm gonna take a little bit of break, and then I might read some before bed, and then. And then I will continue meeting to for tomorrow, so that's my plan. So yeah, I would so I would just take a break right now. I, just, I know I look crazy, but I was actually showering, so that's when my hair is, is in a bun. But it's 8:49 p.m. I have not read *The Republic* by Plato. I have actually been taking a break after I have finished *Persuasion*. I have been reading all day, and I just really needed a break, so I guess that's how an Ivy student will feel like, since they have to constantly read, from what I can understand. So, I have never been an, an Ivy student, so I'm just assuming from, from all these assumptions and experience. But it's actually really difficult to read all day, all night. Like, I don't know how they do it. Don't they really get exhausted? So. I also have been annotating as well, only like the non- no, actually I've been annotating fiction and non-fiction, so that was also exhausting, but I'm getting ready for bed, as you can see, I have this cute PG going on, but I'm ready for bed, so 
I might actually read just a bit more before going to bed, but then, yeah, I will continue reading tomorrow because my brain is just dead, zombie, so, yeah, I don't know how they do this, oh my gosh, so I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>